Good evening, I'm Justin Kolar and Trident Technical College is in the process of searching for a new president following the retirement of its current one this summer. The final decision will be made after the extensive search. Live Five's Destiny Kennedy joins us live in North Charleston at Trident Tech and Destiny. Are public dollars being used to help fund this search committee? Justin, the state is providing $50,000 to Trident's governing board to help find its next president. The Area Commission or Governing Board of Trident Tech started its search by gathering information from faculty and staff, students and community members through public forums to create a profile. The application opened in early December and closed at the end of January. The board and the search firm hired by the state reviewed over 70 applications this past week. They have narrowed it down to eight candidates. Those eight semifinalists will have the opportunity to sit down for an interview in the second week of March. Officials at Trident Tech say there are specific qualifications the board is prioritizing in the selection of the college's new president. There's so much to this job. It takes a person who brings an incredibly special set of skills to be able to do this kind of work. And I mean, to me, one of the most important is to be able to have a relationship with students, a relationship with your with your team, a relationship with the commissioners, a relationship with all of the faculty and staff, and then all of the stakeholders of our region. In September of last year, Dr. Mary Thornley informed the board that she would be retiring after serving as president for 30 years. Her last day as president will be July 30th. My hope is that we find someone who, like Dr. Thornley, is wonderfully respectful and gets to know our students and wants to be a part of their lives, too. And, um, you know, do the work that is necessary to help them become the successes that they can become. The board hopes to interview the final candidate in early April and name a president. Reporting live in North Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.